Hey guys, today in this video, what I want to do is go over some proof that actually mass works in lowering the rate of infection in a country. And you know, what I have here is a chart, right? And I pulled all of these off of Twitter and stuff like that. So what we have here is all the charts, right? Uh, and you notice that Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, they're all kind of like going sideways now while the other countries, right, that are not advising to wear masks are pretty much skyrocketing and these are only like as they test them right i mean so the, these actually test everybody or you know at least a lot of people way more than these ones right so anyways um masks do work and i let, let me go here so here are the people that are not wearing masks right and basically you see it just kind of going up and up and up and i think this is actually before they actually uh, started scanning some of the U.S., right? So now I think the, the U.S. is at about, I think it's over 20,000. I could be completely wrong. It might even be higher by now. But anyways, so these started at the beginning of the outbreak because especially Hong Kong, the thing is with Hong Kong, I know a lot of people, they're still going out to like restaurants now. And, you know, the thing is they had SARS, right? So, so they know how to handle this because they had SARS and, you know, everybody masked up like almost immediately right away they they knew what was happening they had supplies of masks i guess they're kind of manufacturing stuff there too so there's that and while like let's say canada where i'm at we don't make masks and right now i guess the argument is hey leave the mask to the medical workers and i i think that's completely right but what you can do is that you could order masks online from let's say hong kong or singapore or japan or somewhere like that and you know, you could pretty much lower the infection rate. I mean, right now it's just ballooning and I don't see a stop to this. I think it, we're at a very dangerous situation here. So here is a little, you know, information about the type of mask, right? So yeah, it doesn't have a 100% protection rate. Okay, uh, you know, and they, they don't have the N95 and stuff like that here, but you know, these are basically homemade masks, sort of speak. Uh, the N95 masks are more uh, complicated and things like that. And the N99, if you want to do that. But anyways, I mean, these things don't cost a lot. They Well, depending on your country. In Taiwan, right, what is happening is they're selling it to their citizens. The administration is selling it to their citizens for, I think, 20 cents. Taiwanese dollars. So anyways, that's very, very good. That's why they are doing a very good job at minimizing the virus, right? Because they're actually... Uh, telling their citizens to wear masks, even kids, and I'll show you that in a minute. So, you know, they, they talk about a vacuum bag here. Hey, that's as good as a surgical mask, but who the hell is going to wear a vacuum bag? And then there's a dish towel. That's 73%. Uh, you got a cotton blend. That's 70%. What is... Whoops. Uh, this is pillowcase. Anti-micro something. That one is 68%, these 70, I mean 62, 57. I guess the, the weakest one is a scarf. So if you're going to wear a scarf, that's not going to work. And you do need to know how to use it. Uh, another argument that people say is, oh, people don't need, people don't know how to use it correctly. So it's not going to work. Hell, you could teach them how to use it. I mean, I think people are not that idiotic. I mean, unless you really believe people are that idiotic. Uh, if you believe humans are that idiotic that they cannot learn how to use a mask properly. I mean, they're, 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 there's really dumb arguments, especially in the uh, Western society talking about how you don't need to use a mask. At the same time, you see the infection rate just going off the charts. And it's even scaring me because, you know, I'm looking at other countries. I'm saying, hey, how come they have they have a bigger population than my city? And my city is like you know, over thousands and they got like hundreds, less than a hundred or like around a hundred or 200. And they're only from uh, foreign people that are coming back right to the city. So masks do work. And here is the proof. So anyways, this is why, you know, I guess not going out is a solution, a short term solution, but it's not a long term solution. So these, this is how long COVID-19 can remain in the air, you know, this fog smoke. So you don't want to be close to anybody that smokes or vape okay that can be like three hours long if you know people that smoke you just want to stay away from them 
four hours on copper, 24 hours on cardboard. So if you're ordering stuff from Amazon, damn. I mean, I hope my the people that are shipping my stuff are wearing masks, and Amazon should advise that. All right, two to three days on plastic and stainless steel. So, hell, that, you know, if you wore, if the shipping company wore masks, you don't have to worry about them coughing or, you know, contaminating the cardboard, right? As much. So, you know, the solution so far in the UK, the US, Canada, and most of the Western society is if you're young, stay home, no matter what, stay home. But you cannot stay home for the next 10 years. I mean, I don't know how you would feel if you stay home for the next 10 years, but I stayed home for the last 10 years, and I pretty much know how that feels. But, you know, it, it's not a good feeling, and I don't think you can survive it, especially, I did. I, at least I didn't stay home all the time. So, you, you know, it, if you get the coronavirus or if they're swabbing you, oh my God, it goes up your nostril all the way down to, I don't, I don't know where that is, but it's not just up your nose, right? It's all the way up here. That's what they're saying anyway. So you don't want to have that experience. That is a pretty dreadful experience. So preventing it, you know, the masks are actually fairly cheap if you order it online from other countries. They're like about, you know, this is, it's a, actually about uh, 20 something dollars. This is, a, I think a hundred masks. If you want to get 50 masks or $22, I didn't post, I didn't include that, but uh, I posted it on the thing. I don't really know if they're N95 surgical masks, but I, you know, I, I haven't, I bought some. So anyways, I was saying that I'll, you know, when they come, I'll test them to see how they work out to see if they're actually uh, N95 or whatnot. I don't even know if I could test it, but we'll test it. All right, so I made a video. I mean, no, I made a tweet. I said that you could order from uh, other countries. And then, you know, if you have enough money and you really care about medical workers, instead of saying, hey, I'm going to leave it for medical workers, you could order thousands and give them to medical workers, donate them. So I got like 200 something likes here, surprisingly. And I want to show you this video here. So we're going to take a look at it. I never told someone to wear a mask and I never told someone to take off a mask. It's their personal choice. There's the N95 respirators, those are really, really effective, but which are really very difficult to wear for a long time. There's a cloth mask, which doesn't have the same kind of filtration properties as a surgical mask. Cloth mask may be less benefit, may be better than nothing. Uh, hey, yeah. And it, you see the guy's got the, the uh, straps are undone. Yeah. These guys got N95, which is not really appropriate. And this lady looks like she's got N95 not covering her nose. This guy's got a scarf not covering his nose. Mm -hmm. So a scarf may not work anyway. Mm -hmm. But if you don't cover your nose, guaranteed it wouldn't do any, it wouldn't do any good. So I, I think that's, that's from Italy. Um, okay. They kind of did everything wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah from studies in the past for other respiratory viruses that wearing a mask can protect you against infection to some extent, although it needs to be done with hand hygiene and there's not complete protection. If sick people wear the mask, then it should catch a lot of the virus that they would otherwise be breathing out or coughing out and potentially infecting other people. We know that surgical masks don't stop 100% of whatever comes out of your mouth. We know that there's some people who are infected, but don't yet know it because they haven't got any symptoms, but actually could be infectious. And if they'd been wearing a mask to reduce the amount of virus from their mouth coming into the environment, then that may have reduced the almost transmission. So if everybody wears face masks, then transmission in the community as a whole would be lower. All right. So, you know, that's literally what I am saying, right? So let's go back here and, you know, uh, what is happening here is that uh, this is Taiwan and, you know, they didn't need to close their school. They didn't need to shut down their community. They didn't need to shut down their society, which, you know, means that they didn't need to fire people. And, you know, if you have parents that are laid off and if you know people that are laid off and they can't make their mortgage or they can't put food on the table, that's very problematic. Right. So they even have kids wearing masks there. So that's what they're doing well. And as you can see in Italy, that thing is just ballooning. People are dying a lot. And you notice that guy just said, you know, the picture from Italy, they, they're not very wearing it properly, right? I mean, you could teach them, uh, but 
you know, I don't know if they're doing that, but definitely I think people in most of the Western society can learn from what's happening and lower the infection rate, get everybody back to work, get everything better, and hopefully, you know, this thing just doesn't balloon even further. But anyways, there's your proof that masks do work. Please share the videos, let others know. I know there's a lot of videos there from other, you know, other people telling you, hey, you need to leave the masks for medical workers. It's true, leave them. But you could also order them from manufacturing company and I think, I mean, uh, countries. I think the thing is, the main thing is, the reason why there's a shortage in masks is because the countries, especially in the Western countries, we don't manufacture anything. So, you know, it is very hard for us to have masks, but you could always order from there and hopefully everything will get better or, you know, at least not, if not better, at least uh, stabilize in the sense of, to sort of speak. But anyways, there's your proof that masks do work. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm making this video because I keep seeing people, hey, you know, you don't need to wear masks. Well, you know, that's not what a lot of other people are saying as well.